Well, disappointment uh, comes to mind uh, for these guys. Uh, but I, I can tell you that I told them after the game, I was not at all surprised that it went from 25 to 7 with two open looks. That's sort of been their disposition all year. Uh, compliments to Tim. I'm so, first of all, I'm so happy he got the job last year. Really well-deserved. And I thought that their team played really well. The only line that really sticks out at you is you got two pretty good three-point shooting teams. One was unconscious in Laramie and uh, not so unconscious today. Larry, as you, you kind of said, you know, when you played them in Laramie, you guys really shot lights out and they really got off to the fast start. Did, was it just them knocking down shots? What is, from your take, was the defense that, there and they just knocked shots over it? Or how would you kind of assess that? I would have said that it was a combination of both. I, I would never want to degrade the opponent. I thought they played excellent those first eight to ten minutes. We did not play very well defensively. And so, consequently, when they did miss a shot or two, they were getting loose balls. They were getting 50-50 balls. And uh, I thought that would change at some point. At halftime, we told the guys, uh, let's spend about 10 minutes. Let's, uh, let's grind it a little bit, see if we can cut this thing to 10 points with 10 minutes to play. They surprised me. They cut it, I think, with about 12 to play to about seven. Uh, and you know what? It, it well may have been just too much to fight back. Uh, 25 is a large margin, especially against a veteran team like that. Yes, Josh, you know, Rector guarded him quite a bit and good athlete like that. Was that a big surprise? And what did, did you see anything? I mean, Josh did some good things, but did he kind of really, it made, it, it made life pretty, pretty tough? Uh, you know, Rector did a good job defensively. Uh, I, I don't think, you know, Josh slipped, I want to say four times, three of his turnovers came from slipping on the floor. Uh, but I will tell you, I thought Rector changed the game because in the last six games, he shot less than 20% from three. And I thought the game changed because he made shots. That was unexpected. Not his athleticism or his defensive ability. His shot making changed the game, I thought. Let's go over here first. Coach, did you feel No like comment. <laughs> <laughs> did you feel like you guys got the shots early on that you, that you wanted, they just weren't falling? You know, I didn't really pay much attention to offense early in the game. I was so disappointed, and my wife was sitting across the way so she could read my lips, so I had to be cool. But it really was more a lack of focus on our defense and, at the same time, some good shot making by some guys that had not been effective up to that point. Right here. Coach, you kind of talked a little bit about Shane, but it seemed like when you guys had cut it to seven, Jalen Moore hit a couple of really big shots. He got a rebound bucket, and he had a three somewhere in there also. He really kind of kept them in the game. Yeah, he's, he's one of my favorites, uh, and, and, and he's always held himself with class and dignity. Anytime I've watched tape or been on the floor with him, I would dare say, though, in between those two really good shots, you might want to watch that video. We had two wide-open threes to cut that thing to four and five. Uh, Lieberman missed one, and of all guys, Jason McManamum, wide open. But that's part of the game, and heroes are found in tournaments, as we found out last year. I, I don't even know if these guys knew Adam's first name, but it happens, and so perhaps it's Rector. Go ahead. Uh, coach, you know, with 53 seconds, you took Josh out. What, what did you tell him? I don't think it was anything special. He's meant a great deal. He's meant a great deal to our family. Okay, I know it's, you know, right after a game, it's, it's hard to reflect back, but when you think of this group, what do you think of? And I guess what's, what's next? Is it just back to work and recruiting for next year? What's, what's next for you after, after this now? Well, let's go backwards in time just for a second. I don't want to waste these guys' time, but hell, there's no game, so. Uh, you know, this is a guy who was named MVP here and put us on his shoulders with a group of seniors, six of whom graduated on time last May. So if you're an old coach like me, it's like the beer commercial. It doesn't get a whole lot better. Nance goes in the first round, six guys graduate on time, and you run the gauntlet and go to the tournament. Now you got this guy in June. He's coming back. He's lost six good friends. You're your old man hands him the ball and says, by the way, you're going to be a point guard this year. And you have six freshmen and six sophomores. And I got to tell you, I'll remember the fact that these guys played tonight very similar to 
like they played all year and they practice. Not many people talk about practice. Spontaneity, early, on time, every day. And um, so I will remember a lot of the good things and I will try to forget with a little wine some of the bad things. Coach, you had downplayed the effect that it was going to have with, with having some of those guys suspended. Uh, did, you, did you feel like it made any sort of an impact today? No. Real quick, Larry, as you look, you, you know, you lose Josh, and that's obviously a huge piece, but you return everyone else. I mean, just the outside looking in early, do you, you like what you have coming back and to build with, and what's, what's, the, what's the next step, or where do you go from here to work toward next season? We talked a little bit last week about uh, continuity. Uh, like continuity in coaching staff, really important. Continuity with the type of people that you want to represent you, really important. I think we got a good core. I think they found out, you know, you have to harden sometimes. Sometimes to really appreciate the good, you have to harden. And so I think these guys, hopefully they'll remember a little bit of a taste in their mouth when they were disappointed seven or eight times this year. And um, so, you know, we've got spring break next week. We'll take a deep breath. I got some smart people around me. I'll take their advice. And then uh, when we get back from spring break, uh, We'll definitely need to put some pounds on some interior players.